Today, let's try to understand why should we learn streams in Java. Here, we have an employee class containing three fields, ID, name, and salary. We have a parameter as constructor, some getter methods, and a toString method. Now, this is the demo class. Here, we are invoking the method populate employees, which is going to provide us a list of employees. And then we are printing the same list, something like this. On executing, we can see that we are having six employees. Now this output is neither sorted by ID, nor it is sorted by name, nor it is sorted by salary. Now the requirement is that we only need to print those employees whose salary is more than 7,000. So then we can write a code, something like this. Here, as you can see, we have created a new list, filtered amp list. Then we are iterating over the existing list. We are checking all the employees whose salary is more than 7,000. And if yes, we are adding them to this new list. And then we are printing the new list. On executing, we can see we have only three employees in the output whose salary is more than 7,000. But still, it is not sorted at all. So for this, let's try to sort it on the basis of name. So we can add a code, something like this. Now we are sorting them on the basis of their name using collections.sort. On executing the same code again, you can see now the output is sorted on the basis of name. But the problem is that in order to write this code, we need 39 lines of code. But if we start making usage of lambda expression, method reference, and streams, then the same code can be written in only 24 lines. So as you can see, here we have created a stream from the amp list. Then we are filtering on the basis of salary. We are sorting on the basis of name. And then we are printing with the help of for each. We have also made usage of lambda expression as well as method reference. On an executing, it is still providing us the same output. Now I guess you are clear, why should we learn these new Java 8 features? Every day, I will be creating one short video covering a new method of streams. Lambdas and method reference I have already covered in the previous days. Do support me if you want to learn Java from scratch. Thanks.